Hello, this is Chris from InnerCreativeSound.com. Today I'll be teaching you how to save, copy, in, in Pro Tools. In other words, making a copy of your session to be sent off for mixing and mastering. This is my first tutorial, so I figured I'd start off with something basic. So first, as you see, I am importing audio into the session by hitting Shift-Command-I on a Mac. For this tutorial, I'll be using three audio tracks just to keep it simple. Well, first, let's start off with plugins. Save Copy In allows you to copy the plugin settings that are used in the session. But unfortunately, if you are sending your session off for mixing and mastering by an engineer, and they don't have the plugin that you have used during your session, they will not be able to use that plugin in their session. So here is how you save Copy In. File, Save Copy In, and it's going to ask you for the session format. Latest for me would be Pro Tools 10. You're going to leave the audio files however it is. This is the session format already. If you select the audio files, it's going to copy every single audio file that is currently in the session. And if you only select main playlist only, it will only copy the files that you currently see on the playlist. And here we are. If you hit session plugin settings, that will copy the same exact plugin settings that I had for the EQ. So you're going to leave everything how it was. You're going to go to save. I usually save it to the desktop, it's really easy. And there you are. It just copied all the files, all the project settings into a different duplicate folder. I hit folder hierarchy, so it did all this, but as you see, there's the audio files, those are the copies. There's the Pro Tools copy. Now, to usually send this, you're going to have to compress it unless you have a, a certain program that can send larger files, but so I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to open it up real quick to prove. It's all the same stuff. I've got audio playing. I can't hear it. Sorry. So that was the copy of the session that we currently are in, we're in. So we're going to right click, compress it. This is considered as zipping the folder. So it'll compress the smaller, or the files into a smaller size so you can send it easily over the email or uh, sendspace.com, retransfer.com, Dropbox, etc, etc. And that is how you save copy in.